Hi folks, I hope you're ready for another round of Red Dead Redemption 2. Hit those like and subscribe buttons if you want me to keep them coming. And now let's get this. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles and slime. We're a long way east of land we know and far from real open country. That's the grim point of view towards civilization, I guess. Partially true, partially false. Depends on your viewpoint. In any case, we're still in the big city and we have a score to settle with uh, Mr. Bronte. Italian big shot of this town and probably uh, some sort of mafia boss or something because everybody's scared of him he's of Italian descent nothing against Italians just the mafia reference there so I'm guessing we'll have to uh, make some aggressive negotiations wink wink to get Jack back because that's our objective here we need to get back Jack There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just he's some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm him. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? <coughs> You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh. Run along now, boss. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. <laughs> I don't know if you got this Dutch. We are going into the lion's den right now. Hope. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. I hope your charm is worth the price of admission. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. All right. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Oh, shut up. Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we... We most surely were ignorant of. You, you 
You twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. That's <laughs> 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 the barest woman. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. <laughs> John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> crazy, but gets crazy, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. I did not expect that. So, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but? But, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on the mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> All right, keeping Dutch as a hostage of sorts while we are doing the job. That's okay, a couple grave robbers, how hard can that be? I bet John and I can handle this. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were gonna hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Hey, you know what? He could be actually honest. I mean, what does this guy have to lose? Maybe he's sending us to a death. I think this is it. Keep it down. Maybe. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. But other than that, I mean, does he really want to start a gang war? Even if we are the small gang? I don't know. It's just easier to give the kid back and get paid for it. Or maybe I'm thinking too logical. I'm not inside the mind of a criminal mastermind, you see? <laughs> All right. There's the cemetery. Let's get inside. This way. Oh, we need to search the whole cemetery? Yeah, no way I'm doing that. I'm just going to go in a straight line and so hope I bump on? into them. And you know, whenever you are called to search an entire area, it's usually at the end of the area that the objective lies. So yeah, I might as well just uh, go straight to it. Uh, let's take it slow, though. Let's not get shot while searching. What's that noise? Shh, hold up. I think I heard something. What? Either the dead are waking up, or somebody's trying to wake them. Okay. Come on. You see anything? Wow, they are making a ruckus, though. I hear something in there. Get in cover, and we'll bust the door in. Okay, I guess. Why would they lock themselves inside, though? That's a bit stupid. Oh, or maybe we are stupid. Okay. Trap? Yeah, trap. 
Okay. Me and my big mouth, as always. How many you see? Three, four? Hard to tell. You should have played Mr. Bronte. Come on. Ah, these city boys got nothing on us. <laughs> Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> you run away. This is Arthur Morgan and John Marston that are after you. <laughs> You'd better run. I can think of better ways to spend an evening. Oh, that guy was cocky. Oh, hello there. Okay. Oh, for a city boy though, <laughs> he surely hits hard. Sure hope they ain't seeing better than we are. Just and give him a kick for a good measure. <laughs> ah, so what's our objective right now? Are we still looking to clear guys out? I guess so. Yeah, there's one. Oh, come on, are you immortal? Wow. Jesus, that guy in bullets. He's like the opposite of a magnet. Alright, so probably John got the other one. Alright, so what now? We killed them all. But we were supposed to retrieve something, right? Now let's find their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Like I said, let's look around where they jumped us. <laughs> Arthur Morgan has ambitions that extend beyond robbing grave robbers, I guess. <laughs> Now that looks like a good spot. Yeah, and there's a... Uh... Yeah, exactly. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. You know, I never understood. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. I never fully understood why the law announces themselves like that. I mean, wouldn't it be wiser to just sneak in and catch us off guard? Or at least blow their whistles once they see us. Not from far away, it's like... It's like saying, hey, we're here, run away. I found the body! Looks fresh, still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here! Yep, that we are. Not gonna lie to you. Stay close. Although you know though, now that I think of it, maybe they are blowing the whistles to know that they are fine. So if anybody gets jumped by us and he doesn't whistle back, then the others possibly know that something's wrong and will go looking for him. Ah man, I'm not a cop, I don't know how they think. Ah, there's probably logic behind everything. I'm just a fool who doesn't see it. <laughs> Alright, we are close to the gate. Uh, but there are two policemen guarding if I'm reading the minimap correctly. So what do we do about them? We managed to not shoot anybody up to now. The policemen, I mean. Oh, they are leaving. Okay, cool. That was scripted. Fine by me. Alright, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Come on, John. No. Oh. John is either waiting or too anxious to get out. Okay. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Only no, that wasn't too dangerous an encounter. Interesting though. Looks like we lost him for now. Come on. Let's just get there. Come on, quick! Let's get back to Dutch! Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You alright? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. 
How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. All right, let's get this done. All right, now let's see if that was just a trap or if he's on, indeed going to give Jack back. I'm hoping he does. I mean, we've done quite a lot for our mission already. I don't suppose there's more shooting. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took <laughs> your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, Thank Mr. Looking. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just on, simple son. country boys. Yeah, something's fishy about that, though. He is playing the long game, this Bronte. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right. Let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. Papa Bronte? I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teached me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. Oh, Dutch. Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, He'll be there, too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least, that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son. Everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so, well... We met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boys say, thank goodness. 
Thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Oh, I can sense a celebration coming there. Everybody by the fire. <laughs> you know what? Let's have fun for a while. Let's join in. Hey, make some room for John there. Oh, I see a guitar coming. All right, this is gonna be wild. <laughs> and Javier is playing those strings for us. How about a song, huh? Javier, play us away. Nice, let's go. Un par de ojitos negros y cielito lindo de contrabando. De la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Oh, that is a catchy song. <laughs> nice. Lindo los corazones. 